We call it Imagineering, the blending of creative imagination with technical know-how. Art means a lot to me. Something will never be finished. Something that I can keep developing. As long as there is imagination left in the world, Disneyland will never be complete. What I love about the Blue Sky process is it lets us dream. It lets us come up with wonderful new adventures to take our guests on. At Imagineering, we think big. And Disney California Adventure is no exception. I love this. We are over halfway through this major expansion. And already we are seeing terrific enhancements in Paradise Pier. And of course, the addition of the spectacular world of color has extended our guests' enjoyment of the park well into the evening. The architecture of Paradise Pier is really designed to enhance the story. The team did a lot of research about the history of seaside amusement parks, and really none of those places exist the way they did, so it was our goal and our intent to bring back that magic and that nostalgia. The architecture of the Little Mermaid attraction was inspired by the architecture of the Dragon Gorge coaster that existed at Venice Boardwalk, which is an exotic tribute to the past of these seaside parks. Building design works kind of like a puzzle, and there's a lot of parts that have to fit together. We're able to use the computer modeling process to help us visualize these buildings before they appear in real life. For the last several years, we've been looking at this building in 3D on the computer, and you really don't get a sense of the massive scale that it is. Thousands of lights around the building are gonna light up and be visible all the way across Paradise Bay to make it a spectacular attraction, an amazing gateway to Paradise Pier. The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Undersea Adventure, is a wonderful ride through the experience of the film. We have some of the best scenes from that film with really, really great and wonderful songs as well. When you come in to Disney California Adventure and you travel down to Paradise Pier, you're going to see this wonderful building that's being constructed. Where we start is in a phase called Blue Sky, where the sky's the limit. And we think about all the things that we can do to bring this movie to life. And we go through a concept design phase, then we start to do design with drawings and things like that. Then we get together with the people that are going to help us build all the different pieces. And then as we produce the pieces, we bring everything together here in the facility and then start to put this whole experience together for the guests. Right now in the construction process, we put a lot of the scenery in, we're waiting on the animated figures, but we've got the props going, and we're also installing the ride system. We're creating this party atmosphere, then when Ariel the figures show up, and Eric, and Sebastian, Flounder, all of them, it's gonna be like, it's the party for them and the guests have arrived. So the next step is to get them in here and start to program them so this whole place comes alive. What I think guests will enjoy the most about this attraction is they are under the sea with Ariel and all of her friends and they're going to be so up close that they're going to feel like they're part of this environment. Our ride vehicles are beautifully colored clamshells and you're actually going to be part of the scene, not just watching it. So coming through this scene, as a matter of fact, you're going to be a colorful shell just like the colors that you see here. And I think that's going to be wonderful because you're going to be right in it. The Little Mermaid is a classic film that I think still resonates with all of us today. So that's why I think it's going to be so exciting to bring this to the guests. Right now at Radio Springs Racers, we are doing early ride testing of our prototype vehicle, our first vehicle. It's going really well, and it, it's just its so fun to see this car out running around on the track with a little smile on his face. This car, Radio Springs Racers, we think of it as a giant slot car. So if you look at it, there's a slot in the middle of the track that the, that the car will follow along. It's the same ride system that we have at Test Track at Epcot in um, Florida. So it's super successful for us. We love it because it makes you feel like you're actually riding on a road. Your, your tires are touching the pavement. And it is the only ride system that we saw that we knew that really felt like a car. And obviously for Radio Springs Racers, feeling like you're in a car is the most important thing. We opened in 2012. You walk into the park and you can see the steel is coming up. It's going to form Ornament Valley. And it's so exciting. And people are looking in. They're wondering what's going on. And we just can't wait to open it up.